So we resolved the diamond water paradox diagrammatically, but you can see that it's quite tricky to do. But if we know the demand curves for water and diamonds, can we measure the total utility of each commodity and show that the total utility of water far exceeds that of diamonds? We can do so if we use some mathematics. And it's the technique of integration that we need. We want to show that the total utility of diamonds is low, but the marginal utility of diamonds is high, and the total utility of water is high, but the marginal utility of water is low. Remember that we can find total utility by summing all of the marginal utilities from zero to the equilibrium quantity. So let's focus first of all on diamonds and we'll assume a demand function of P equals 480 minus 4Q and an assumed equilibrium where Q equals 100 and PE equals 80. So the total utility of diamonds is the integral from zero up to QE of f of q dq. That is the integral from 0 to 100 of 480 minus 4q dq, which gives us 480q minus 2q squared from 0 to 100. Taking the value of this at 100 and subtracting the value at 0 and then multiplying out, we have 48,000 minus 20,000 so that Tu equals 28,000 euros. So we've established that total utility equals 28,000 euros, but marginal utility which is the same as the price, is just 80 euros. If we want to find consumer surplus, that's very straightforward. Consumer surplus is the total utility minus PQ at the equilibrium point, which is 28,000 minus 8,000, which equals 20,000. Now let's look at the total utility of water. And here we'll assume a demand function of 2000 over root Q or 2000 Q to the minus 0 0.5. And we'll assume an equilibrium of QE equals 4 million, but PE is just 1 euro. A low price. So the total utility is the integral from 0 up to QE of f of Q dQ, where the integral is from 0 to 4 million, 2000 Q to the minus 0 0.5 dQ. Integrating this, we get 2000 Q to the 0 0.5 over 0 0.5 from 0 up to 4 million, which equals 2000 times Q to the 0 0.5 times 2 from 0 to 4 million, which gives us 4000 Q to the 0 0.5 from 0 to 4 million, which equals 4,000 times the square root of Q from 0 to 4 million, which equals 4,000 times the square root of Q from 0 to 4 million, which equals 4,000 times the square root of 4 million 
So TU is 8 million. But MU is the same as the equilibrium price of just one. If we wish to discover the consumer surplus of water, the consumer surplus is the total utility minus PQ, that is 8 million minus 4 million, so we have a consumer surplus of 4 million. So we've now shown that although diamond prices are high and water price is very low, the total utility of water is much greater than the total utility of diamonds. Prices reflect marginal utility, not total utility.